Here in the i button and the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Welcome to video number 12 and in this video we are going to solve a very important problem, okay? So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, Fourier transform with your friends. In this way only you can support me and I really need your support, okay? So let us start solving this very important problem. The question says, find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of x into e to the power minus ax okay the question says find the Fourier sine transform and the Fourier cosine transform we need to find both okay Fourier sine transform and Fourier cosine transform for the function that is x into e to the power minus ax okay yes if you see in the previous video we have uh, we have proved okay both results okay so here if x is multiplied with some function okay that is of x like here okay like here you can see the function is x into e to the power x if let's suppose this is my f of x then this is x into f of x okay in that case if you want to find okay if you want to find Fourier sine transform okay if you want to find Fourier sine transform then in that case what we need to do is simply find the Fourier cosine transform of f of x okay simply find the Fourier cosine transform of f of x then we will simply differentiate with respect to s and put a negative sign okay and that is going to give me Fourier sine transform of x into f of x okay this is what we need to do right now okay in this problem because first of all we need to find the Fourier sine transform of this function that is x into f of x okay that is x into e to the power minus ax okay so for for Fourier sine transform first we need to find the Fourier cosine transform of this part okay that is e to the power minus ax okay which is equal to 0 to in, integration 0 to infinity e to the power ax okay e to the power minus ax into cos sx dx okay so you need to know the formula okay let me show you the formula that we need to put here that is integration e to the power ax into cos bx dx equals to e to the power ax upon a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx okay we need to use this formula here okay here so if you compare the value of a is minus a and the value of b is s okay so this is going to be e to the power minus ax upon a square s square because uh, minus a square that is a square s square that is s square okay so a square plus s square okay bracket open a that is minus a into cos bx that is sx plus b b sine bx that is s sine sx okay again the limit is from 0 to infinity fine now if you start putting limits okay if you put upper limit here so e to the power minus infinity okay here it will be e to the power minus infinity which is equal to 1 upon e to the power infinity okay 1 upon e to the power infinity means 0 okay so on putting upper limit here this is of the upper limit is going to be 0 okay if you put upper limit this whole term will become 0 okay so upper limit minus lower limit now let us put lower limit as 0 here so this is going to be e to the power 0 that is 1 upon a square plus s square here we have minus a into if you put 0 here this will become cos 0 and here we have sin 0 okay s into sin 0 and we know that sin 0 is how much 0 so this part will become 0 so here we have minus a into cos 0 and the value of cos 0 is how much yes 1 okay cos 0 is how much 1 so here we have minus 1 into minus that is a upon a square plus s square fine yes this part is very much clear to you okay now okay now after finding this what we need to find is yes this part that is for the sign transform okay for the sign transform of x into e to the power minus ax okay for this we need to differentiate this okay and put a negative sign because this equals to minus d upon ds of Fourier cosine transform of e to the power minus ax okay this value okay this value is how much a upon a square plus s square okay so we need to differentiate this first okay that is minus d upon ds of a upon a square plus s square so okay here you can see if you take this in the numerator part okay the power will be minus one so on differentiating here we have negative sign as it is okay this will become if you take this in the numerator part this will become a square plus s square pi power minus one so differentiation will become minus one okay a upon whole square of this part okay yes whole square of this part that is a square plus s square whole square and again differentiating this you will get 2s okay so finally negative negative will become positive 
2 s into a that is 2 a s upon a square plus s square whole square okay this part is very easy to solve okay so i am not putting more emphasis on solving this part so first part is over that is for the sign transform of x into e to power minus ax equals to 2 a s upon a square plus s square whole square now we need to find the Fourier cosine transform of this function that is x into e to power minus ax okay let us see what to do next yes if you want to find Fourier cosine transform of x into f of x and f of x is what e to the power minus ax in that case with what we need to do is simply find the Fourier sine transform of this part okay that is f of x that is e to the power minus ax first of all we need to find the Fourier sine transform of e to the power minus ax then we will differentiate with respect to s okay simply differentiate with respect to s and that will give you Fourier cosine transform of x into f of x similarly for Fourier cosine transform we need to find first this okay that is Fourier sine transform of e to the power minus ax that is integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax into sine sx dx okay now let us see the formula first okay yes here we need to use this formula that is integration e to the power ax into sine bx dx equals to e to the power ax upon a square plus b square into a sine bx minus b cos bx okay if you compare that formula with this you will get a equals to minus a and b equals to s okay so this is going to be this that is e to the power minus ax upon a square plus s square minus a sine sx minus s cos sx okay yes and the limit is from 0 to infinity again fine yes now simply put upper limit here okay simply put upper limit here and lower limit so if you put upper limit for the whole term here okay e to the power minus infinity if you put upper limit here, this will become e to the power minus infinity which is equals to 0 why because e to the power minus infinity is 1 upon e to the power infinity and we know that e to the power infinity is infinity that is 1 upon infinity will become 0 okay so I'm putting upper, upper limit here this one will become 0 now upper limit minus lower limit okay lower limit that is 0 if you put this 0 here this will become e to power 0 that is 1 upon a square plus s square here if you put 0 here this will become sin 0 sin 0 value is how much 0 so it is 0 minus s cos 0 cos 0 is how much 1 okay so here we have minus s cos 0 and since we know that cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 into minus s will become s upon s square a square plus s square okay now what we need to find is we need to find the Fourier cosine transform that is Fourier cosine transform of x into e to the power minus ax that is equals to d upon ds of this part okay which is this that is differentiation of this so this is d upon ds of s upon a square plus s square okay and here we are differentiating with respect to s and here we have u upon v form okay so v into differentiation of u minus u into differentiation of v okay differentiation of v if this is u this is v then v dif differentiation of u minus u differentiation of v upon v square okay yes so this part is as it is differentiation of this will become 1 minus this part is as it is differentiation of this will become 2s okay because a square is what constant fine so upon v square that is a plus a square plus s square whole square now if you simply open this bracket you will find a square plus s square minus 2 s square okay that is a square plus s square minus 2 s square upon a square plus s square whole square okay now simply solve this part you will get yes this okay that is if you solve both that is s square minus 2 s square will give me minus s square okay and here we have a square so a square minus s square upon a square plus s square whole square okay and this is what this is the Fourier cosine transform of x into e to the power minus ax okay and here we had yes here we had Fourier sine transform of e, x into e to the power minus ax as 2 a s upon a square plus s square whole square okay so what is more important okay what is more important in problem like this is we need to identify identify what is f of x okay this is x into f of x so f of x is e to the power minus ax in this type of problem if you want to find Fourier sine transform first of all we need to find Fourier cosine transform of this f, uh, f of x then after finding this okay after finding this we will find the Fourier sine transform as yes simply write minus d upon ds of this okay minus d upon ds of this which is 
this part okay now again if you want to second solve the second part that is Fourier cosine transform in that case what we will do first we will find the yes Fourier sine transform f of x that is e to the power minus ax okay after finding this we will find the Fourier cosine transform okay we will find the Fourier cosine transform as d upon ds of this okay that is this you will get the answer okay thank you thank you so much